Tom Hunter is an English photographer born 1965. Inspired by the alchemy of the darkroom in traditional film, Hunter avoids digital photography because with digital film it's much more difficult for accidents to happen. Shooting digitally, he says, you get what you want, but that's not necessarily what you need. He typically shoots with a large format camera. Hunter is also largely influenced by classical painters like Caravaggio and Vermeer, as well as the ordinary people they used as their subject matter, rather than members of a royal court. Because of this, Tom Hunter is well known for his photographic reimaginings of classical paintings. His work is almost exclusively based out of his neighborhood in Hackney, in the East End of London. In 1998, Tom Hunter won the John Cobalt Portrait Award for Woman Reading a Possession Order. This photograph was based on Girl Reading a Letter at an Open Window by Vermeer. This photograph is still considered Hunter's, quote, best shot. Taken in 1997 as a piece of propaganda to save my neighborhood, Hunter says, showing the dignified side of squatter life. At the time this picture was taken, the city was planning to tear the houses down to construct warehouses. Woman reading a possession order was taken with a large format camera with a one second exposure to best capture the low winter sunlight shooting through the window. This image is of a friend of Hunter's, a squatter, who had just recently received an order to vacate the premises. Compositionally, this photo is almost identical to Vermeer's painting. The scene of the impoverished struggle of a seemingly single mother is brought dignity by the posing borrowed from Vermeer's work. The woman's downcast eyes, stoic expression, and almost reverent pose, paired with the innocence of an infant, elevates the scene with noble or even holy intonations. Tom Hunter's compositional referencing of Vermeer's painting is used to elevate this image of poverty in the same dignified manner that quaint poor families were represented by classical master painters. This comparison brings attention to the way people view poverty today, where it is not typical to view a homeless person with respect or honor. In 2006, Hunter became the only artist to have a solo photography show in the National Gallery of London with Living in Hell and Other Stories. This show commentates on Hunter's neighborhood, Hackney, and its relationship with its local paper, the Hackney Gazette. The series is made up of 16 large format images inspired by old master paintings. Every photo in the series was titled after an outrageous local newspaper headline in the Hackney Gazette. In the gallery, each photo was displayed side by side with a copy of the master painting it referenced. Ye Old Axe was paired with the Living in Hell show. It was shot in a strip pub in Hackney called Ye Old Axe, inspired by Velasquez's Venus at Her Mirror. The photo examines the difference in the way the nude form of women is portrayed and viewed in classical paintings and the way nude women are viewed today in these seedy strip pubs. The grim reality of Hunter's scene starkly contrasts the soft, gentle image in Velázquez's painting. The mirrored walls in Hunter's image emphasize how much these nude women are on display. The Cupid figure in Velázquez's painting is replaced by an intimidating, mysterious male figure in Hunter's composition to directly address the issue at hand, how men look at women. Living in Hell shares a message with four figures at a table, a painting by one of the Lenon brothers in 1643. The respectable, dignified poverty in the Lenon painting is shockingly contorted in Hunter's realistic contemporary portrait of filthy solitude and deprivation. In one of Hunter's most crowded scenes, an elderly woman has been left by herself, couch-bound, stuck to live on a sofa, unable to care for herself, a true image of living hell. The contrast between the tidy family in the Lenon painting and the solitary, abandoned woman in Hunter's picture commentates on some of the differences of the times. The warm colors in Hunter's photo also contribute to the hellishness of the environment, despite being set in one of the most advanced cities in the world. Upon further inspection, cockroaches can be seen virtually blanketing the room en masse, hyperbolizing the filth and squalor surrounding the elderly woman. Refuse and outdated decor illuminated by a bare light bulb fill Hunter's small scene, painting an image of inescapable suffering. The vertically striped wallpaper in the room alludes to the idea of a jail or cage. In contrast, the obscured dark environment in the Lenon painting allots the characters a heightened sense of safety and respect, rather than the confines represented in Hunter's photo. For Batter or Worse is based on a local wedding turned drunken melee, and inspired by Piero di Cosimo's The Fight Between the Lapiths and the Centaurs. In Hackney, travelers and gypsies are discriminated against. 
and Hunter represents this with actors drawn from the new populations of Irish and Vietnamese who had recently migrated to Hackney. This chaotic populated scene differs from Hunter's typically smaller scale process. Many parallels can be drawn between Hunter's and Cosimo's violent compositions, though instead of using mythical creatures, Hunter employs spotlighting, deep shadows, and almost otherworldly color, such as the deep purple sky, to create a fantastical image about a very real subject. Such large scenes full of action are more characteristic of classical painters rather than contemporary photographers. Hunter's bridging of that gap in this series is an interesting criticism of how we view violence in art compared to how violence is perceived in a tabloid headline. A Midsummer Night's Dream is a photo series of nine photographs originally commissioned and displayed at the Royal Shakespeare Company from November 2011 to April 2012. The photo series largely features Hackney, Hunter's home neighborhood, which is prominent in all of his work. To create this photo series, rather than going from storyboard to film, Hunter worked backwards as he examined the play, going from film to storyboard to isolate the key events and moments of the production. Hunter composed the storyboards, hunted down local locations, and worked with the denizens of Hackney cre to create this show. Hunter prefers to people watch to cast as models, approaching random people in cafes to create a genuine sense of authenticity in his compositions. In the Midsummer Night's Dream photo series, Hunter features several unique personas from the Hackney neighborhood. Motley Kunst, an all-girl heavy metal band, caught Hunter's attention because they were essentially impersonating a masculine role, and so acted as a parallel to the men who acted as women in classical Shakespeare productions. The pearly kings and queens of the East End are a philanthropic society for raising money for charity, started in 1875, characterized by the pearly white buttons that cover their clothing, termed smother suits or skeleton suits. The pearly kings and queens are featured in Hunter's images as symbols for royalty. The Midsummer Night's Dream photo series also features a stripper from a local strip pub, local school kids, samba dancers, and a local carnival club. The series layers character relationships paralleled from Shakespeare into Hunter's photos. Nearly every photo in the series features a pair of primitive prop trees, not unlike the prop trees that would be used in a theatrical production of the Shakespeare play. Hunter relies on rich color, the play of light and dark, and a visual dialogue between characters to paint magical illustrative scenes that could otherwise be perceived as conventional documentary photographs. The queer assorted cast of characters and their defined relationships in Hunter's series of photographs is a strong representation of the socio-emotional tumult described by Shakespeare. The obvious staging and spotlighting of select photos in the series also acts as a direct reference to the traditional theatrical representation of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Today, Tom Hunter continues to display his illustrative photography in international galleries as well as published photo books.